Hello, hello, and welcome to Game Beater Displays: The Long Dark on Interloper Difficulty. We have made our uh, we have made our way to the garage or the convenience store, whatever it is, in the gas station. There you go, the gas station in uh, Coastal Highway, and we left the episode, the last episode, where I was just about to have a look and rummage around in here to see what we can find. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, at the end of the last episode, I did come across a moose, which is right outside here. Um, so, unfortunately, we don't have any way to deal with that moose. Um, I've not come across a moose up close before in my playthroughs. I haven't played a lot of uh, The Long Dark since the update when they were introduced, which I know is a long time ago now. Um, I've just been playing other things. A summit soda, that's good, that's not bad. Please, if we can find a hacksaw in here, I will, I will, I don't know what I do, I will do something. No such luck so far though. Um, so, no, no such luck so far, sorry about that. Uh, some dusting so far, chemical compounds sometimes used. Now I don't know if they serve, again I don't know if that serves any purpose outside or, or, or on interloper. Surely it serves more purposes than just for crafting ammunition. Um, again if you guys know, leave a comment in the, leave, leave a comment below um, letting me know. So we will need to sleep at some point. Some more tools, I don't really need more tools but I hate leaving things behind. <laughs> um, although I think, to be honest, this is where we're going to stay. So, thinking of that, I am going to drop um, this and this, and we're going to cure that. I don't need the scrap metal at the moment, so I'm going to store that over here for the moment. Um, nope. I'm going to store that in here. Uh, scrap metal. Great, okay, so put that in there. Um, nothing under here. Oh! Oh, did you see that? There it is, there's the hacksaw. We are in business, guys. We are in business. Now, the only question is with that, do I want to go to Desolation Point or do I want to go to a fall on musket? I'm thinking at who keeps a feather in their toolbox? Okay, whatever, I can't complain. I just found the hacksaw! <laughs> I just found the hacksaw, that is such a good find. That is that is ah uh, ah uh, that that's that's just heaven on the floor. That was heaven on the floor underneath the toolbox. Oh lovely. Oh, so that really does that really does mean that we can now get on and start looking at harvesting some carcasses in that or first of all obviously making the improvised hatchet and making the knife hunting knife I'll probably go over there and when I do I'll make a couple of them because I, I like to make a couple just in case one does break um, or you run out of these whetstones down here. Although I've got like four of them now, so they're going to last long enough. Um, we will see. We will see. I might make one. I might make two. But let's not get ahead of ourselves because we actually have to survive the journey there. But that was a wonderful thing. Now, I don't remember if here has a bed or not. If it doesn't, I can't sleep in here. But there is a house just yonder which I can sleep in. Wow, I'm, I'm still I'm still reeling. I'm st not reeling. I'm still a little bit uh, gobsmacked at finding that hacksaw. I did say when I came in here, if we find the hacksaw, I didn't actually believe that we would. Okay, there you go, guys. You can have a read of that. But we did. 
do we have a fire in here? So, so things are s things are starting to get a bit moving now. Like I said, we have a means to craft tools. We can get the bow and arrow. So now with the hacksaw, obviously, what condition is the hacksaw in? Eighty percent. So I could fix that up. Um, which I might do. Oh, there is a bed here. Oh, that's great. Frontier shooting guide. Another cardboard box. Nope, I don't want to break that down. Um, so I could fix that up actually. <sighs> do I want to break this down? I kind of do. I know sometimes they can have things behind these cardboard boxes. So let's go ahead, let's get some tinder plugs. We're not doing much in here anyway. Um, I've got plenty of water, so I don't need to boil down on the water. Okay. There's nothing here. Is there anything under the bed? There is something. What is that? It's a can. And a candy bar. So, good oil. So I'm going to... Did I bring my pots with me? Wait. No, I didn't have pots, did I? I'm thinking of another playthrough, don't worry. So I'm going to have that can. At least I don't think I had pots. Or did I? Maybe I did. Maybe I did have pots. I don't know. I can't remember. I've been playing another game as well. I think I did have pots, and I think I left them at, at the Bloomin' Farmhouse, didn't I? Damn it. The cooking pots, I, did, I left them at the farmhouse. That is a silly, silly mistake. I can't believe I did that. Oh well. Never mind. What I might actually do anyway is go back through Pleasant Valley. I'm, th I'm thinking, I think... Now the issue with Forlorn Musk is the forge is outside and it's f harder to get to, I think. But there are more wolves, I believe, that roam around the area in Desolation Point in regards to the... They roam around in the vicinity of the... Um, where the forge is. But... I'm probably going to go to Desolation Point. I haven't been there yet. And... It's probably just a bit easier to navigate than than fall on must fall on must you can uh, fall on musk egg or whatever it's called. You can get really lost in there, especially as that wind and the the blizzard sweep in. It's very easy to get yourself turned around. Okay, so what an excellent start to that to the episode. So I don't need to cook anything necessarily. Soon Let's I'm just okay. check what I have got. So, all the food is in pretty good nick, except for that dog food, which is annoying. I do have antibiotics. I might just go ahead and risk eating it. If I get it, if I if, if I get food poisoning, then well, so be it. At least I'm somewhere a little bit safe. I need to sleep anyway. But before I eat, let's break down some clothes so I p now usually I'd keep one of these spare just in case one of them breaks but I'm thinking at this point in time oh, I'll go ahead and keep it I'll go ahead and keep it for now I do like to I'll keep a spare if I if I find the best of something or the, or the best piece of clothing it is always a good idea if you can and you don't need the cloth so much just to keep one spare because if you get attacked by a wolf or a bear or something and you do remarkably uh, some miracle you manage to survive it is a good idea to make sure that you have spare clothing especially if you run out of sewing kits and things later um, right so yeah, I'm really weighed down heavy here. A lot of it is wood, so I could go ahead and burn some wood. Got two kilos of water. Um, got plenty of tinder. We've got some coal. Whew. Well, yeah, I think 
I am going to drop some stuff here because we're going to we need to explore around here. So I'm not going to be making any fires. And I'm probably not going to be using the hammer to break anything down. So let's drop the hammer and the hacksaw because I'm not going to need any of that. Let's drop these tools because I'm not going to need them for a minute. Let's drop all this all this wood because I'm not going to need that and all these sticks. This is oh I've got loads of cloth. Didn't realize I had that much cloth. Right, that should be enough for the minute. I've dropped all of that, so we will sleep. We're, we're going to have a rest. We're going to eat some food. We're going to have a rest, and then we're going to explore this local area. I'm going to eat the pork, the the dog food, dodgy, I know, but I think it's worth the risk. I have antibiotics. If something does go wrong, I can make a fire. Look at that. That was worth. It. Oh, I've got food die. poisoning. I right, just want so. to die. Damn it. <laughs> well, was it worth the risk, desk? I don't think so. All right, let's take the antibody. Well, I can drink the. Let's drink that because that is going to give me a little bit of. Um, yeah. So I have cured it. So it's a ten-hour sleep now. So maybe if we sleep for ten hours. That might be enough. So, um, I need slightly more food. Let's eat a dodgy granola bar. There we go. My condition should be okay. Although, I think actually, I want to make sure that my. Where is it? Where's the, where's the tea? There we go. I'm actually going to drink this because I've got two of these prepared so I can always boil some more later. Um, and That's going to hydrate me, give me some more calories just ever so slightly. And let's go ahead and sleep the 10 hours. And oh, that will hopefully get rid of the... Um, what do you call it? Food poisoning. There we go. Food poisoning is gone. Condition is not too bad so that's alright. Could be worse. It could be worse. Probably wasn't worth eating that dog food after all of that, but hey ho. I got a night's nice rest. Um, so, is it bright enough that I can spend the last few hours of this day reading? Or of this night reading, I should say. Probably not. Um, we've got the health. Survive the outdoors. Mm. Fire skill, fishing skill, hunting with bows. Let's do the sewing primer. I've already started this, so it's dark. So no, I can't. Um, what else can I do to pass the time? I could make. <laughs> Let's make some bandages. Ten minutes. Now that that sun is almost up, I think that might be enough now, although I think my food has gone. That might be enough just to do one hour of this now. Nope, still too dark. Alright, well, let's have a look what it's like outside. I, I will need to be careful here because the, um, I'll tell you what. the fire barrel. Oh, I get so lost. It gets so dark. <laughs> There's the bed. Let's sleep one more hour. Just to pass the time. Get a bit of energy back. And there we go. Alright, so now the sun is coming up. There is a back door here, I believe. I could have, uh, yeah, there we go. There's the back door. So I am crouched to do this correctly this time because if that moose is still outside, I don't think it will be. But there could be worse things. Well, actually, the moose is pretty bad. But the thing that scares me about this area is wolves. It's so hilly, and the wolves here, they just they hide behind the hills. 
where you can't see them and they jump out at you. And this is a favorite uh, coastal highway is a favorite haunt for a lot of um, other YouTubers that I've watched over the years. Um, and I can see why it's a good place to get yourself set up. Um, I must make sure that I do not forget the rabbit that is in there. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten about it. Was that a wolf? I don't know. I don't think so. Yeah, not usually a lot in here, but let's have a look anyway. Nope. Um. Yeah, because once you've got yourself set up here, it, it, you know, if you've got fish and hooks and all that business, you can, you can kind of survive almost indefinitely. And there's always a lot of deer or wolf out on that lake. Oh, it's not really a lake, I suppose. It's more of an ocean, isn't it? Um, but anyway, out there on the frozen ice, there's a lot of deer. And you can often chase those deer into wolves. And then if you've got the bow or, or flares or some way of scaring the wolves away you can actually go and harvest that um, deer. So it is a good place to set yourself up but oh good wooden matches can never have enough matches um, it is a good place to set yourself up here but I just prefer Mystery Lake um, I just I don't know. I feel there's, there's, I feel safer there than I do here. All right. So there is a mailbox over there. Sometimes you find some things in the mailboxes. Uh, these. <laughs> all I can hear in my headphones is the squeaking of metal. Um, it keeps terrifying me. <laughs> keep thinking it's a wolf or something. So up there are, there is also the uh, oh watchtower. It's a bit tricky to get to. There is a wolf, uh, not a wolf, a bear that walks around up there and that's the bear that I thought had come down the hill when it wasn't. It was a moose in the last episode and I just heard that moose again I believe. I heard it. I heard what well, sounded like a deep growl, but not a bear growl. It sounded like the moose growl. All right. Well, I cannot see it yet. But that doesn't mean it's not nearby. Maybe it's something else I heard. I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, I kind of I don't want to stick. I thought that I thought that was a bear. Then I uh, I'm starting to freak out. I'm starting to see near things that aren't there. Oh, oh dear, it's not a good sign, is it? Um, I don't want to sit here now. I've got the tools to get myself. Oh, there's the moose. There's the moose. I've got the tools to get myself set up. I want those tools and I want them quickly so we're not going to stay around here for very long we are going to head out pretty soon no that moose just started running is that moose scared of me or was it chasing something can hear it. Like I said, I've had very little experience with the moose. Um, okay, he's over there. He's over there. He's uh, kind of in the area that I need to get to though. Sorry buddy, so uh, you know, if you can just like uh, move away from that house, that would be great. It's, uh, you know, like I want to go over there. Move. Is that okay? Alright, no wolves, just the moose. I will, uh, I will take the moose over the wolves because that did appear like that moose ran away from me then, so... Oh wow, I tell you, you can hear their footsteps from quite a way away. 
All right, so it's getting cold. Oh, well, I'm getting cold. I'm getting hypothermia. Um, it's okay. It's not usually that much of a risk. All right, so decision time of do I want to leave here today while the day is young? Or do I want to hang around here for one more day? Probably because my condition is a bit knackered from now this is risky like I say I've had no I have had no experience with moose and if that thing comes charging like it might well do I could be in a world of pain now I'm hoping Okay. Okay. Okay, get in the car. Oh! Oh <laughs> god. That. That was intense. That was so intense. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Okay, so I learned a thing or two about move. I, I'm sorry, I've got to catch my breath. Do you ever get that in a video game where you're running and there's something breathing down your neck from behind you and uh, it's so intense, it's so scary. Now, I'm stuck in this car is the problem. I need to get out of this car. I have no idea where the moose is. Where is that moose? I can hear him. But again, I cannot see him. Okay, I don't know what I'm scared of more now. Moose or wolves? God, that was intense. That was horrible. Well, at least he's moved away from here, so... At least I can get in here now. Oh, I'm still recovering. I'm still recovering. I'm still recovering. That was so scary. Anyway, alright, so... I think I'm a fair enough distance away from it. Oh, I see another granola bar. This is good. We're picking up... Oh, it's candy bar. That's, that's just as good. We're getting pretty good um, food right now. Got quite a lot of food. So I am going to stay here. I'm gonna, what I'll probably do is get some reading and that done. Um, well, what was that? Shut up, Rebecca. Oh, God, I am freaking out. Right, I am so freaking out right now. I don't know if you guys can hear. There's just, there's just sounds that are just freaking the hell, freaking me out so much. <sighs> I know. This game is so intense sometimes. So I was playing um, the Subnautica Below Zero the other day. And I was trying to explain on that video that um, although that game has some intense moments in it, you know, it's kind of relaxing and calming and... You have moments of intensity and fear, but it's not it's not sustained. Whereas in this game, from the minute from the minute you start playing to the minute you turn it off, it's just sustained stress. It's not a relaxing game, and in all honesty, I love it for that. I, that that's why I always keep coming back to this game. I'll take it. You know, I might play it for a while and then put it down for a few months. But I always come back to this one. It's unrivaled in its atmosphere, in its intensity, in its difficulty, in its balance. Um, it doesn't rely on... Oh, yes, okay. it is, Astrid. Lucky day. Yeah, it, it, it's very clever how it just works you against nature and that's it. Um, it's brilliant. 
I really hope that they one day make a number, a, a, a second one. What I'd like to see is like a pros procedural um, environment, so like a, you know, like have a fixed environment like this, but maybe a random map, so every time you go in there it's always different. That would be, that would be really good in this game. Um, it would take a little bit away, I guess, from the world building, but it would be cool every time you go back in, because you do get to a point where you get to know some of the maps quite well, um, and it can take away a little bit from the game. But still, even on Interloper, it doesn't matter how well you know. Did I check the oven? It doesn't matter how well you know the maps. I mean, you're always living like it's literally your last day. And that nearly was my last day. I was probably, if that car had been another meter or two away from me, that would have been it. I would have, yeah, I've never been killed by a moose. So I don't know, I guess they probably kill you. They look pretty big, they look pretty angry. And I reckon if that hit me, that would have been good night. Um, but we lived, we, we live and we hopefully can get out of here. And it's typical, it's always the way, just as you get yourself set up, something comes around the corner and kills you. So this is why I wanna get to those tools. Because once you start getting the deer boots and oh, hello herbal tea and hello oh, crackers. Wow, we've got a we have got quite a lot of good food now. If I can find it all, we've got a fair few nights worth of food there, so that is excellent. So I'm going to end up drinking the herbal tea again. I'll probably stay in this house tonight and not go back outside. Another wagon wheel, so I can break that down because I've already got one that's slightly better condition than that. Um, nothing here. Yeah, this bed's going to be warmer, I'd imagine, than the one in the um, garage, gas station, whatever you want to call it. So I'll probably stay here, drink some herbal tea, read a couple of books in the ta daytime, break some stuff down. Um, is that something behind the toilet? It was, it's a pry bar. I, I haven't this. really been looking a lot behind these toilets and stuff, you know. And that's something that I totally forgot to do. Because they do like to put stuff there. Alright, I'll take all the water. Because I'm going to be drinking a lot of water, I'd imagine. I don't need that pry bar. So I'm probably going to leave that in the garage when we go back tomorrow. Man, I'm so... I'm just, I'm still buzzing from that moose. That was, that was insane. That really was insane. Um, all right, just double check downstairs. Don't think there's anything else down here. I think we've checked everywhere pretty well. Um, okay, so I think, I think some reading uh, while it's light. I'll do some reading while it's light. I will then because I've got food now so I can eat some of this food. So drink some water, get some hydration. Actually let's cancel that. Let's drink this soda because that's going to give us some calories as well. Um, and they're pretty heavy as well those cans. Um, and let's eat this beef jerky as well which is gonna make us dehydrated a little bit so I'm gonna do a, a little bit of reading get some practice in my skills and um, if I can find the books sewing yes I want sewing fires are a good thing as well but ice fishing but I haven't even found any hooks yet Okay, and I've only got one hour left of this book anyway. So we'll go ahead and read that. Oh, I could eat anything right now. We will start on the angler. Let's read that for three hours. And there we go. Excellent. Can you eat trees? I don't know, Astrid. 
I don't know. If you could eat trees, I don't think they're going to be very tasty. Cattails. Well, there's something you can eat. Cattails. Right, so... Ow. Okay, I'm going to eat... I've got quite a bit of food. I know I'm kind of wasting my food here. I'm eating like it's notes. Well, now I... Hmm, difficult decisions. Okay, let's eat this stale crunchy stuff bar. Um, and let's see if we can't finish off reading the frozen angler. I've got two more hours. That should take us into the night. Oh, I'm starving. There we go. Excellent. So two books done. That's really good. I've just got the fire and the stay on target, which I will read as we're getting closer to getting the bowl. I don't need all these cans, really, so let's drop one of these cans. Um, oh. Now, had I known I had that one, I would have been reading that one. Because that's really the one that you want to start reading. Damn it. So hungry. All right. Um, so, let's go ahead and break down. We don't need two sets of these, so we can break down one of those. Trying to get this as far into night as we can. Let's break down this one. Um, I don't think there's anything else for me to repair. I don't want to break that down. I want to keep a spare one of those. Can I prepare any? I can prepare bandages again. Do I want to prepare more bandages? Can you ever have enough bandages? Yes, 15 is probably a tad too many. Uh, this antiseptic I kind of need to keep for the minute because I don't have any... Oh, I do have uh, wound dressing. So... But still not very many. I'm going to have to keep that from it's a litre of it as well. It's so heavy, that stuff. What I don't need is this. So I can drop that. I don't need 20 tinder plugs. That's ludicrous. 10 is going to be sufficient. I have cattail heads. Wow. Well, don't really need them either. So I'm going to drop them. I want to keep my coal. I want to keep all of that. So how many matches? We've got 12, 24, 48, 52 matches. That's pretty good. We've also got two accelerants as well so we're doing all right we're doing not too bad so we're doing all right on the food as well so i'll probably end up we got plenty of sewing kits currently so let's just go ahead and fix up just f some of the more like this for instance let's fix up these that's going to take a little while going to take a few hours to do that I think an hour and a half or so there we go brand new um, and let's see if we can't fix up is there anything else this is on 78 so let's just see if we can repair that quickly and that is going to bring us near enough to sleeping at time not quite yet the sun's not gone quite down yet fix anything else up I don't think um, oh excellent my mending has increased to level 2 that's good right so let's drink some water I might go back out s no because I want to sleep in here don't I I do want to sleep in here still got that coffee if we ever need it um, I suppose what I could do is start a... Oh, my fire's over there, though, because I need to... Well, let's go ahead and drink this. Um, and then we'll see where we're at. I know it's still daytime, so we're going to be waking up really early in the in the night, aren't we? Um, but... I kind of need to. You know what? I'm actually just going to wait. I'm going to wait two hours. 
Wait till that sun's gone. There we go. I'm gonna drink this herbal tea. Let's eat food first. Let's eat a let's eat a tin of this. There's some fifty five percent. So let's eat a tin of this. Pork and beans. Scrummy scrummy pork and beans. Six hundred calories right there in a can. Lovely. Um and then I think if I eat uh or if I drink, sorry, this that might be enough to sleep. No, it won't, so I need to drink. I need to eat one more thing, so let's eat a stale chocolate bar. Another 250 calories, and let's sleep for the 10 hours. And hopefully, we will wake up with some good, good condition. Much better than it was before. So fully rested we have anything right about um, now I don't want to pick any of this up yet we're fully rested so I'm gonna I'm gonna load up this torch and we're gonna go across to the garage we are then gonna head out okay we're gonna head out to another place I will probably leave that for the next episode though but Is that bloody moose still here or is it gone? I hate this place. I am never coming back here again on Interloper. It's so scary. It's just like instant fear. Instant fear. Ugh, I hate it. <laughs> I absolutely hate it. Alright, so what we're going to do guys, we're going to go ahead and cool it there. What's that? Oh, okay. Yeah, um, I'm going to pick up, obviously, this while I remember. That's nearly cured, so that's good. Um, but yeah, we... Sounds like the Aurora, but there was no Aurora. Anyway, we're going to go ahead, pick up all this, assess our weight and everything, and then we will go from there. Um, we're going to be heading out. There's our beautiful hacksaw. Not going to need all of this. So, yeah. So, there we go. Let's put that out. So, we're going to leave it there today, folks. Um, hope you have enjoyed this episode of The Long Dark. Um, like I said, next episode, we're going to see if we can head and go and make some tools. But thank you very much for watching, guys. If you do like this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the like button. Also, don't forget to click the notification, the little bell next to the subscribe button and we will see you next time on disc plays interloper bye bye